Introducing the Brick by Sony. No, that's not really what it's called. It's the Sony Multi Battery Adapter Kit NPA MQZ1K. You got that? Yeah. This is the Z adapter um, that will go into the bottom of the camera after we remove the door of the camera. So here we have the layout of the buttons and you can see that only the bottom left battery is charging. The camera automatically senses which battery needs the charge the most and goes to that one first. And this is the battery check showing that the other two batteries attached are fully charged. On this side of the adapter there is a small USB port which means you can drive along in your car and charge all four batteries at once as you're driving which is very very handy. At the bottom you can see the DC, the, the power adapter for the AC plugged in. On the left hand side on the top behind a little door there are two USB ports. These are output ports and they're very very handy for charging things when there is no power available. As you can see there are quarter 20s tapped. There are six total, three on the bottom and three on the top. There's also a little um, blocker plate made of plastic that is removable so that if you want to bolt this on and make it a little bit smaller you can. So here is the Sony A9. We're going to very simply remove the battery door which is very easy to do with your thumb. Battery door is removed. Hit the blue tab and the battery comes right out. In its place we're going to put the dummy battery from the uh, adapter unit. Just line up the plugs and insert and it will actually clip in with that little blue clip will, will, will in, be in there. And so now the A9 is ready to go for a long, long time. All we do is turn the power on on the unit, turn it to camera, and it will send the power to the camera. Here is an A7R2, which shares the same battery as the A7S, um, the A7S2, the original A7R, and the original A7 and the A7 II, and all the A6000 series batteries. We pull the door off, just like on the A9, and remove the W battery, and check this out. There's a spring-loaded switch here, which we'll do, and then pull out the W adapter, which is hiding inside the Z adapter. And now this uh, battery adapter unit is backwards compatible with all the batteries going through the NEX series cameras, which is pretty cool, especially for A7S II shooters who just do gobs and gobs of video and really need lots of power and not have to be changing all those batteries all the time. The A6000 series uh, cameras also benefit from the, the battery adapter, the multi-battery adapter. Same thing. I don't even bother taking the door off on this one because you don't have to. You just insert the battery adapter. It's set to camera and so as soon as I turn the camera on it will power up and go for days and days and days. It's pretty cool. The USB adapter on the upper left is really handy for charging an iPhone. I actually just flew for, to Singapore and back and used this thing to power my iPad, my iPad mini, so I could watch movies and not be going stir crazy in my seat. It's also handy for charging my RX100 batteries and my action cam batteries. Even when I'm in the car or even away from the car, I can just be literally on a backpack charging batteries. Very, very handy to have that USB feature. The new Sony Brick is a fantastic solution for video projects that are long term, also where clip limit is a problem. It's also great for still photographers doing long term remote use for nature photography or very long time lapses that are going uh, for 10 or 12 hours. Uh, there's a lot of use for this at the Olympics where you have to place remote cameras up someplace where you can't get at them for 48 hours. You have to make sure the camera has power no matter what. The new battery uh, from Sony for the A9, the Z battery, is awesome at offering us, you know, five to 7,000 images stills in one charge. But having a brick with four of these batteries in one place is really, really useful. And it shows how serious Sony is about not just giving, giving us what we've asked for, but even doing overkill. I think this battery unit is one of the most unheralded accessories that Sony's made in a long, long time. 
Um, this is a fantastic solution for a lot of problems that we've all dealt with, with the poor battery life of the W-Series battery. So I'm looking forward to using this on all kinds of projects in the future.